Welcome back to the second part of our story. In part one, we met Clara, a 16-year-old girl who was dealing with a mysterious and frightening situation. A cat would come to her window at night in a very unusual way, causing her to become very afraid. Despite her attempts to get rid of the cat, Clara was still unable to shake the feeling of fear. In addition, she noticed something strange on the roof of an abandoned house near her home, which caused her great anxiety. Part 1 ended where she looked in detail at the roof using Google Map as she found something abnormal that made her terrified, leaving us all wondering what will happen next. So, without further delay, let's dive into Part 2 and find out what happens to Clara. Before beginning, I want to let you all know that this story is divided into parts. So, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the continuation of this spooky tale. Don't forget to close the door of your room and put on headphones. Intro. Part 2. Her heart raced from the fear she felt when she noticed something abnormal. There was a woman in a black dress with very pale skin and a blurry face, leaning against the wall of her room. When she saw her looking at her, she felt a strong spasm and a severe headache. She stopped her laptop and left her room. And she told her parents that she no longer wanted to sleep there in that room. Her parents asked her why what happened what was wrong then she called them to show them what she saw so that they could make sure of what she saw and heard every night her parents accompanied her to the ceiling clara opened google maps on her laptop and put the location of the roof next door in google maps again but this time there was nothing her parents started to think their daughter was on drugs they left her in her room and the father and mother went down but clara no longer slept in her room but returned to sleep in the living room, although nothing changed. But she continued to listen to the alleged cat, meowing in such a way that it resembled a woman's cry. Followed by her crying, a whisper was heard, I will kill you and your parents. As soon as Clara heard that, she froze. She could not move or scream. Those horrible sounds were louder and louder followed by a shocked weeping and screaming. Then she turned on a cassette radio and put on a song, but she heard it in the opposite direction. She was going crazy and hallucinating from the voices that she was hearing. She was very afraid of what she saw and heard. To be continued. 